Okay, so welcome to another lesson. This is our last lesson on earth science. Our last lesson on earth science. So here we are going to talk about water. Okay, we are going to be talking about water. Now let's look at some sources of water. Okay, so in the picture you can see the rain. You can see well, you can see river, tap, stream, lake. These are just a few examples of sources of water okay we have ponds lagoons streams waterfalls okay they are all um, examples of sources of water so which of these sources of water do you use in your community is it a tap is it a well is it the stream the river or the rainwater okay now what do we use water for what do you use water for have you taken your bath today? Have you brushed your teeth today? Have you drunk water today? Have you washed your hands? Have you even eaten today? If you have done any of this activity, you used water at some point in time. Hmm? So basically, water is used for a lot of things, which includes drinking, bathing, cooking, uh, watering plants, and a whole lot of others we used to wash our clothes and all that or oh, they are all uses of water water now the existence of air in the atmosphere have you seen air before it's it's it's, it's a question that i knew i really need to ask you have you seen air before i don't think so because air is a mixture of gases and we cannot see gas okay this means that we cannot also see what air we can only feel it when it blows around us now let us um do a simple exercise to know if um air is around us mm -hmm. a simple exercise take a, a book all right take a book i have taken my book and try to wave the book across your face all right wave the book across your face wave the book across your face can you feel the air that was blowing around you can you feel the air that was blowing around okay this means that there is air in the atmosphere this means that there is air in the atmosphere now let's do one more exercise could you um hold your nose Hold your nose and make sure your mouth is closed mm -hmm. like this. And then you hold your nose for a while. Now, how long can you do that? Can you do that? It's you can do that for a short while. Okay. Why is it? Why is it like you can't do it for a long while, but just a short while? This is because you need air to be able to live. Okay. If you don't breathe, you can't live. Okay. If you don't breathe, you can't live. Yes, as I said earlier, if you don't breathe, you can't live. Without air, we cannot survive, we will die. Without air, we cannot survive, we will die. Now, do you know what causes flags to move? When you go to uh, some company, you see that they, they've hoisted flags uh, at the entrance or even in some offices. Do you know what, what makes the, the flag move? It is air. It is air. So when you see flags moving, it means that there is air in the atmosphere. Also, when you see um, branches of tree or leaves of plant also moving, it means that it means that there is air in the atmosphere. Okay. So you can see the kids are using air to fly their kites. They are using air to fly their kite. Besides flying of kites. Human beings and animals breathing air to live. We also need air to help in sailing our ship. Air also helps to dry our clothes, among others. So there are lots of importance of what of air. Now we have come to the end of the lesson, but before we go, let's take a look at the key point that we need to remember. So when we say when events occur repeatedly, we call it cyclic events. Light from the sun is called sunlight. Mist is a white-like substance that looks like cloud or smoke. 
runoff water is a pool of water that gathers on the ground after it has rained. The various places we get water from are called sources of water. And then air is a mixture of gas that is all around us. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today.